Action Impact, number six. I just got to say, if you've nitpicked the videos so far that I've made, um, this one's for you. Uh, our topic today is positive people. Um, I'm sure there's a huge wall coming right here. Guess what? Uh, you can be one. Surprise, right? Um, a, lot, a lot of times right now, and there's not a lot to be excited about. And I think still being able to take that, the issue at hand and, and finding a, a real cause and an effect and learning from it is everything. So uh, when it comes to positive people, I, I feel like vibes are real. Um, that, well, of course, to me, I feel like they are, but uh, when it comes to seeing someone that you haven't seen in a long time, um, you know, you can tell and you can seem to always pick back up where you left off. I know some of my uh, best friends that I know of and maybe even some homies that I haven't seen in two to three years, you know, I, I see them at a, you know, an event or a, a contest you know, we always pick back up where we left off and, you know, that's where the good vibes come from. Um, when it comes to positive people, I, I think that what makes them so such a good person to be around is that their intentions are always good. Um, one thing that I've seen in the past is, you know, somebody puts up a front as far as, you know, they... They are a positive person on the on the front, but they also want something in return, and um, you know that can really mess up the intentions, and it really does kind of change the whole aspect of of you know why is this person so nice to me? And I'd say that's something that that really hurts my feelings because uh, you know I just want the best, and uh, definitely in my work life, a lot of times it was like. I came off too strong, like that, you know, I wanted it for them so much that they were like, wait a second, there's got to be a, there's got to be a reason why, why does he want me to succeed as bad as he does? And, um, you know, I just think that's the world that we live in, but I'm excited about that, that uh, by being a positive person and just loving others, you can, you can set yourself apart and really inflict change. And, um, I'm going to kind of describe, you know, a couple different, um, I would say segments or, uh, categories that you could fall into as you're working your way into being a positive person. Um, this is a pretty funny term to me, uh, negging out, uh, you know, obviously that's when something's not going your way and, and you just, you know, flip out, like, you know, and, what the heck, this isn't good, you know, and, and you're just in a, a really rough spot. Well, what I think is that for a prolonged period of time, sorry, I'm plugging my computer in before it dies. All right. Yeah, cool. So <clears throat> that for a prolonged period of time, as far as negging out is, is what I call a neg ball. And that, that means that they just walk around and they're always kind of stating the problem and, and what's uh, what's going wrong versus trying to take an aspect of, you know, what, what can they do better? And uh, the third category is what I call a, na a Nancy or a negative Nancy. Um, they have passed the first form of, um, you know, stating the problem and and actually start creating the problem by stating the problem so much. Um, a lot of times they're escalating issues and um, as all I have to do is drop the name Carol Baskin and everybody knows what I'm talking about here, but uh, negative Nancy is, is not a good spot to be in. And um, I haven't figured out how to fix someone who has made it to that, that step in their life. And it's gotta be love. It, that's gotta be the root of it. But, uh, I could go on a tangent there. Um, every now and then they shop at your favorite retailers. That's all I got to say. Now, the other categories I want to talk about are um, being a thermometer or a thermostat. Hang with me here. Uh, 
thermometer tells the temperature, a thermostat can adjust the temperature. Uh, that to me is really important. And uh, you know, that's what I think of when I see someone who can light up a room and you know, just overall has a good time and enjoys their self no matter what's going on around them. Um, with that, you can be, you know, stating the, the problem. Like I said at the beginning, to me, that's what a, a therm thermometer is. It's just someone who's like, hey, it's broken. It's broken. It's still broken. Um, and then you have more of someone who's problem solution oriented where they would like to fix the problem, but uh, maybe they don't know how or they they would like to bring up possible solutions, but not follow through with them um, because the problem is getting in the way. Maybe they're maybe they know that this, there's solution there, but their attitude is keeping them from making it happen. Um, and then you have the third one, which is the ideal which is someone who's solution oriented and it's being able to see the problem, take the best part out of that and what you're going to fix and do it so quick that uh, you can do it with a, a good mentality and, and not be uh, down in the dumps, if you will. Um, that solution oriented person um, maybe wasn't always that way. You know, it takes a, I think it's a toughness that you can build up to where you're just excited. And, and when something happens to you, you just immediately get excited because you know that you're going to make it through it and, and be better. Um, <clears throat> this is the last thing that I'm, I'm going to try to describe as far as four types of people. And I hope I can do this without a, a visual aid. But um, when I look at, at, types of people in this world and, and kind of where their heart is and, and why they do what they do. Um, the first type is either a giver or a taker, meaning exactly what it says, giving or taking. Are you a depositor or a withdrawer? The other is positive or negative. Um, and you basically mix those together to where you have a positive taker and a negative taker. You have a positive giver and a negative giver. And when I look at that, I think it's associated with our tax brackets. Um, you know, I think someone who's middle class a lot of times is the positive giver. Um, I think someone who maybe is in a very prestigious role a lot of times can fall into a, a positive taker um, to where they're, they're filling you with love because they want something from you. Versus filling you with love and being a giving mentality and, and overall just wanting the best for you. And um, that's that's what I want to focus on is, is really just being a positive person and, and giving out of the kindness of my heart, not not for the the clout or the, the respect. Um, and I think I'm on my way. But when it comes to positive people, I know several. Um, if you're listening to this video, you can just go ahead and raise the roof or pat yourself on the back or, um, and we'll go from there. This has been Action Impact number six. And I'm excited to have you all.